Hi, so today we're going to look at how to make mixtapes, DJ mixtapes with scratches in Acid Pro. This is how you get so many mixtapes from the DJs like DJ Kalonje, DJ Stone, DJ Demakufu, DJ Lighter. So if you want to learn how to make such mixtapes, so the I just watched this three part series. This part one, the introduction, basic stuff. Then part two will be intermediate stuff. Then part three will be advanced level things that you do when you get familiar with the Acid Pro software. So let's start in the beginning by let me show you how if you understand the concepts that uh, I get to you in this three part series. So at the end of the series, I expect you who's watching this video if you try to pro to make mixtapes using acid pro to get such a result let's play it So if you want to make mixtapes like that, just follow through the series. So part one is for beginners or people who are not yet very confident in their skills. So watch this, you'll get the basic stuff, basic scratches. You can forward to around these timestamps below for those who want to forward the video to parts where they need. So let's go to the fundamentals, the basics of the software. When you look at the software, you can load a track, then you click mouse and drag to adjust the track position. Find the press D to switch between tools, and the highlight tool, then control plus D to go back to the pen tool to write things. So this is these are the tools maybe the rubber tool we can do cuts with it is you can hear how the, the music is cut it makes a very interesting effect actually then you can use the you can drag from the from the you can drag from the top of the screen to to access the volume gain bar and and drag from the left or right to adjust the blending smooth so that the end the volume reduces gradually just like that So the effects, we'll cover this in the next part, part two. You'll get all the effects in acid. You'll mostly use flanger, likes of reverb, the likes of and maybe a co compressor for the overall so that we equalize volumes through all parts of the mixtape. I think that's it. Mostly what we'll be using for mixing. You can use the pull tabs in the track EQ or radian tracks. Beat mapping is finding out the tempo of the song, the speed of the song and adjusting the project to it or to match the song that you're blending. Into it. So that's roughly the cut, that's the what we're getting. finish or you can just go to a free software like virtual dj and drag in the song it will detect the tempo for you when you drag the song you can go to properties 
make sure it's bitmap to go to advanced then type in the bpm you found from virtual dj that's it then adjust accordingly Pal has ad advice most of you to just find the instrumental and use use the BPM from the instrumental. So to do a scratch, all you have to do is basically take a small part of the song, a kick. Or a snare or a hat, just a small sample of the song. So at, her, at every half space between beats, just put put them one, put one which is very short, and the other which is slightly lower than the other. Then reverse one of them. That will give you a small, simple baby scratch. That's simply what you do. Also. Press Ctrl plus drag the clip to duplicate the clip. Press U to reverse. start hearing how the beat the scratch sounds it sounds well it's okay then you can go to smaller scratches just zoom in and repeat the same steps just press one Count two boxes or one, drag the other one, to three boxes off, reverse, and copy the scratch just like that. You can hear it's now good. Now let us try blending song. Now, typically a song, and you blend songs at the chorus, that's what you can hear, it's a bit marked, do the steps I showed you, bit mapper, or just use the virtual DJ method, easy tricks, so type in the BPM and just listen to them. They blend. That's how you put two tracks together. Then that's how a scratch is supposed to sound. These are the basic baby scratches. We go back, we go advance to more difficult techniques. In the next video now let's do scratch here same thing now let's recap so after watching this tutorial I expect you should be able to do this in acid pro For you to, when you're done with the mix, you'll have to save it. Save it, go to the file menu, click down to render as, and go save as type. Mostly you choose mp3, then you can go to custom to edit more id3. id3 is markers that are in the song for music player id3. Go add your DJ name, your mixtape name, your author, time, genre everything else just fill it up and just hit save so fast so care 
can't wait to see you guys in the next video where we talk about more intermediate stuff and like subscribe share and comment if you learned anything bye